lot of people live paycheck to paycheck. And a wedding is a lot more than one paycheck. So people have intentions to do a lot of things, but money gets in the way of that. And so although they know it's the right thing to do, it's something they'd like to do, uh, they just keep putting it off. We heard the announcement here at church and we just decided we were gonna do it. You know, this is it. Sitting down with Pastor Tom, you learn just knowing that, you know, our relationship is is right in God's eyes. It says in Ephesians, you know, I, I'm to love Elizabeth as Christ loved the church. For me, that's, you know, putting her needs in front of mine. The Sunday that I announced it, I thought people would like it, but I wasn't ready for the groundswell of support that came. And I stood in the back of the church, a man almost came running up to me and said, my wife and I want to pay for all the marriage licenses. Uh, other people came up and said, we'd like to do the flowers, to buy rings. Then women started coming up Sunday after Sunday saying, I'd like to donate my dress. And then a woman came and said, I do alterations. A couple women do alterations. And so they've, they did the alterations and hair and nails. So we have a remarkable staff of people that did all this. They did a wonderful job. As you do so, repeat after me. With this ring, this ring. I, seal my this ring. I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving wife. This is like a dream come true for me. Like, she's everything I ever wanted. And I mean that from my heart. As God is my witness. There are people that only go to church for funerals and weddings. And so this was the opportunity to show that group of people that uh, the church can be a place that loves and supports and gives and uh, maybe they leave here saying, boy, I wish I could be a part of something like this. Gentlemen, you may kiss your bride.